first time Malik up is. I have no clue what is waiting for me. But I know he's um his movement style is one of the worst enemies that I faced. Pretty scared, but I'm also strong as fuck, so let's see. Hey man. I, will not have I did not expect this one. What is he on about? I'm feeding him death root whenever I can. We've had him so much, holy shit. Oh, death. Become my blade once more. Is this the guy we've had the death root? He is, no? Is he also Malikev? Oh, shit. He is, dude. What? Wait, are we still? Can we still feed him after we kill him? What is happening? Oh my God, he's so cool! Holy shit! Just jumping around and I'm dead. Bruh. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try and mimic him. This time he's not running. Sometimes I love not this RNG. We got a very big chunk here. If I can get one more hit in, I'm gonna have to run though because I'm low HP. Yeah. yeah. One more hit and he's good by my. Oh, he's dead. He's dead right here. Is that a face or is he dead? What? Long live the cheese. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. He's gonna. What is happening? We got the, um, the remembrance the of death is unbound. Oh, never mind. <gasps> is that the rune of death that makes people the die? Lands between are shrouded by death's dark fate, but the flames will also burn the impenetrable thorn. Holy shit. Farewell, it is then. 
Endzeit. Oh mein Gott, guys, wir reached Endzeit. Wow, I got goosebumps. Okay, so this was the thing with the city, huh? Now we cannot enter it anymore. Ash and capital. Is this all ash? Wow, the tree is aflame, dude. This looks amazing. Holy shit. I think we found him. First try. To stand before the Elden Ring, to become Elden Lord. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us, that we continue to struggle unto eternity. See what he does. Really incantation. Wow, he's got the Queen of Rot. Okay, I guess he was meant to be easy. Cannot become a lord. Not even you. A man cannot kill. What a hater! The all-knowing helm. If he was so all-knowing, why is he dead then? Okay, so this is the guy I have no clue about. And hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. His triceps is bigger than my head. To be granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey. Oh, we killed him, but only like his light. The first Elden light skin. Lord. The golden skin. Okay, now I know who he is.
Holy shit. What the fuck just happened, dude? I've given thee courtesy enough. Just horror loo. What the fuck? Warrior. I'm way too over level dude. That's it. We got him. What the fuck did he do to the lion man? That was nuts. He like ripped him open or something. And bathed in his blood. Wow, that looks so cool. If that is not a sick tattoo. That picture looked amazing, dude. Holy shit. Okay, I think this guy becomes the Elden Beast, I'm not sure. So he has red hair as well. Oh my god! Having a mimic is just so cheating. He's already dead? Not 
B? His name was Rodagon. Okay, he is not the Elden Beast. Or is he? Is he? What the fuck? It's just full Japanese cliche like in Attack on Titans. Really huge Attack on Titan voice. What is happening? We're gonna get the sword if we kill it. Oh my god, I, I need the sword. What the fuck? Pretty, but this fight somehow feels more like a formality. Yeah, I mean, he's targeting my mimic. If this would have targeted me, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, okay, this kills the tarnish. believe it guys we finished the game fractured marika erma gerd mend elden ring use 
Mending Rune of Death near Prince. What am I supposed to do? GG baby, yo, you were part of this? As much as, as I played, you were the Giga Carry. Thank you so much, it was amazing. So amazing, dude. Um. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> A little bit overwhelmed right now. We picked Mant, the Elden Ring. So we're healing the Elden Ring or whatever the Elden Ring is. And this is Radagon. But it said touch Queen Marika. But they are the same, right? Exactly. I mean, I definitely want this ending, or the rather... The fallen leaves tell a story. I want to mend her for sure. tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, Across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall. An age of fracture. <laughs> I look so stupid in the throne. <laughs> Yo, next playthrough, I'm gonna take off my helmet. If, because I know this is gonna happen. Or I'm gonna put in, put on like a silly helmet or something. This is the ending? That was a little short? That was very short, what? What the fuck? <laughs> That's all I got? Damn, dude. Wow. No, not like this. Yo, speaking of Rani's ending, I think there was a rune on the ground that I could have touched to trigger Rani's ending. But I'm more fascinated with with Marika, to be honest. I would have actually chosen... If I knew all the endings now, I would have chosen this. But, but I didn't know it was so short. You know? But the action, I wanted to mend her for sure. Yeah, wow, what a fuck. I just wanna, what, what I would do in the New Game Plus is aim for quests that I have done differently. That is number one. And then number two is just rush through the game, basically. Just kill every boss. I can leave all the optional bosses and I would not care about them. And repeat this process throughout all the new games. 
until eventually I got all the quest lines done that I wanted to see, interesting, probably get all the items and stuff, and then just reach the point in where I would feel weak as shit, because all the bosses are way too strong for me, and that's when I would have to step it up again and farm or do whatever to get back into a strong position. That would be like my game. The other thing that I wanted to do is raise a PvP character, go full meta spec, just to learn the game. Uh, it's probably gonna be like catch flame kind of style spells and weapons that are giga fast, like daggers or something. But um, yeah, that would be like a side project. So this is how we ended the game. <coughs> I use Golden Wow mostly, just because of the um, damage reduction it gives. Also the damage increase is nice, but the damage reduction negating all other sources of damage is quite nice. Flame grabbed me strength pretty good. The bestial blessing was okay, it was not like the best. Never g really gotten to cast the lightning strike, even the, the fire or the new serpent flame, as well as the serpent, um, as the quick flame. And this one is just too fresh. But um, Blasphemous Blade was just so OP that you don't really have the time to cast these. Like whenever you are doing something you actually want to use the Blasphemous Blade. As for the runes, I never really figured out how it works. I think once I would use a rune arc it would activate whatever a rune I would have equipped. I think that's how it works but I actually never used it. So it's whatever kind of. Uh, there were some nice stuff you can get here but yeah it's like didn't really need it so all in all the game was very giga insanely sick there was a few things that i didn't like um mostly stuff that you would consider being quality of life and i am being very generous and conservative with this opinion as I really don't want to take anything away from the game or of the difficulty but I believe let me go above this about this I believe if you would have an option let's get the music here the music is insane absolutely insane getting me to tears very very often the voice lines superb Giga S plus tier, like so good. It's so good, and that's like half of the game for me because I'm very um, soundophile. <laughs> if you would have a option to mark items as favorites or make a list of of certain items that are favorites, that would be nice. Coming back after a week of not playing, having to go through like a bunch of shit, where you have to like read and and you don't know which which one is which is very very painful so this goes for every slot basically for weapons for for items and i don't think it would take anything away from the game from its difficulty it's just a quality of life kind of thing i know the people who are playing this on playstation 5 i think it was playstation 5 you can play it on what are you doing you're scrolling down like this it's the worst life it's horrible You know, like this, this is kind of odd. Another thing that I would like, love to have was a simple reset for these things. If you have, if you have them spread all over the, over the world, there's nothing I could have found in the legend down below to reset them all at once, or a or an option that would blink me through all of them. Very painful to go all about the map and check them out. So that is another quality of life thing that I think would just be deserved and would have a nice spot in the game as well as being able to place these things during um, actual gameplay for example standing just here and just pressing a button would make them appear on the map that would be amazing cause sometimes you get in combat and then you just uh, have to run literally run away from the situation quite far sometimes because you cannot deal with it and then you actually don't know, you don't even know where you are. That makes it really rough. That, however, falls into the territory a little bit redlining 
of taking away from the difficulty of the game. Still, I think that would be a neat option to, to have. Other than that, honestly, in terms of like quality of life mechanics, I don't I don't think there was anything that I missed. And I really liked it like this. Not having a quest lock, I mean holy shit. No quest lock, no minimap. Eventually we got through it. And I guess games like this are just made to be shared by mouth. People talking to each other, how to to figure out stuff. Because you, you can't beat this game in a in a lifetime without a quest log or a minimap all by yourself. If you give this game to somebody in prison and they have no access to internet or nobody else sharing their thoughts with them, they would never complete this game up until the day they die. That's what I think about it. There were a few weird situations where you would have a traveling mechanic being a coffin. You get into the coffin, suddenly you appear at another place. That was a little bit weird. Also the gateways where you would touch them and they would teleport you to another place. That also seemed somewhat out of place. They could have managed that a little bit better just from the optics. From the thing that you have to touch. That was kind of odd. Just a little bit though, a tad bit. Same with the coffins. Nothing really too major. And then um, the repetition of skins and locations was not really felt very minute but it still was there and that is I guess a very luxury privileged opinion which no game really thinking about it has done in the past 20 years or whatever just because the game is very vast and I understand that they had to reuse some models but in some dungeons I would turn around the corner and I knew there was an enemy just because I saw, I've seen it before. That's that's what it was about. But that is so minute, it's like really, you, you won't even notice it. Especially if you're like a casual gamer. It's just a god gamer like me, you know. You, you notice these things. Ahem. <clears throat> but uh, I think that's all the critique I have. And, um, yeah, if we compare it to the DLC, I don't really want to talk to it, talk about it a lot. I'm going to want to uh, upload this, what I just talked about to YouTube, uh, together with the ending that I got. And I think I'm going to talk about the DLC once we finish it. But so far, the DLC, I mentioned it yesterday, maybe I didn't really look for them. But it felt like a lot less caves and catacombs. Even though <laughs> just when I mentioned them, suddenly there were like two or three catacombs that we figured out or found. Everything is much more mazy. Much more crazy to find. And um, it just always feels like one big pile. Instead of a clear route which it was non-linear in the first place yes but this time it's it's even more and I, I was not thinking that would be possible even though you had a certain narrative just cause of due to the nature of where you're spawning yeah we spawn here and then you know we go wherever we can see but still it was it was very rough to find out a few um, paths, and uh, if there was, if it wasn't for a guide or or the help of you, my dear, I would just be truly lost. And uh, as I said, if you give this game to, to somebody in prison, not having access to internet or just somebody sharing information by mouth, you can never in a whole lifetime finish th this game. But that is really all the uh, criticism I have, and I think. That was really, really it. I was thinking about it for a long time. I wanted to make some sort of a recap. I'm gonna talk about more of the more about the DLC once we finish this one. All in all, way, 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 way well worth the sixty bucks I played. Uh, I paid. 
I think the base game alone is like 35 bucks or something. Go and get this fucking game. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, guys. Once it came out, like two years ago, I was al al already following the Dark Souls, no hit runs and stuff, and was fascinated with the with the bosses. Having the contrast, though, to these games, this looks so much better. It looks so amazing. And um, I really just like the boss fights. I was checking out all the boss fights. And not even then I have seen them all. But... Uh, the animations, the music, everything about just the, the epicness is so well done from Soft. Big clap for you guys. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, guys, uh, time for the 